for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you non linear response spectrum analysis of g plus 10 building structural model by using stat pro v8a software so initially i will create the model by using stat pro v8a software then after that i will apply the load cases which is comes under the both gravity loading condition systems as well as the lateral loading condition system then after that i will explain you how to do the response spectrum analysis by using stat pro v8a software okay so for that just i am selecting stat pro v8a software here so click on the new project option select the spacing option here and give the structure name just i am taking here as rsa click on this respected folder just i am selecting my folder is desktop rsa click on okay so here i am selecting length units will be in meter as well as the force units will be in kilo kilo newton click on next option click on add beam command click on next option so now we can see here the model was open with the 10 number of the grid lines in horizontal direction as well as the 10 number of the grid lines in vertical direction firstly we need to model the 3d frame model for the building structure so go to geometry option click on the run structure wizard option so here i am selecting this respected uh, frame model from this truss models option so in this we need to select the bay frame so initially we need to assume the length of the building structure according to the architectural plan so as per my plan just i am assuming the length of the building will be consisting of approximately 21 meter in the same process i am assuming this respected height so here in this case just we are assuming the number of the floors will be of g plus 10 so g plus p plus 10 which is approximately equal to 12 number 12 multiplied by uh, 3 which is approximately equal to 36 meter so again width of the building we need to assume here Just I am taking here as 14 meter option. Okay, so here we have to assume the number of the base along the length, direction, distance. Just I am taking here as six numbers, and it will be consisting of 12 numbers, and it will be consisting of four numbers. So here I am selecting this three dots option. Just I am selecting the length of the first bay will be consisting of three meter. This is a four meter. This is a three meter. This is a four meter. This is a three meter. Again, the last one will be a four. Again, in the same process, just I am selecting this particular option. Just I am selecting three, four, four, three option. so click on okay option click on apply option now you can see now you can see the complete scale uh, frame model was done here like this so click on the cancel option click on yes option so click on okay option so now it will be imported to start pro software here like this now we have to hide this particular uh, snap not beam option so now we have to add the slab section for the building structure so for that initially we need to cut the one of the slab section just i am selecting here click on select to view click on okay so here i am cutting this particular portion here like this so now we have to add the slab section for this respected uh, portion so as per your consideration so just i am taking for example uh, as per my example just i am taking as four node plate option just i am selecting starting second again i am selecting here like this okay so in the same process we have to add the all the frame section all the slab section with the help of the four node command So here in this case, just I am assuming this respected section will be consisting of passageway with the staircases here like this. Otherwise, we will assume the staircases here like this. Click on delete option, click on yes option. So now we have to click on the 3D view. So now we have to select the slab section. So here I am selecting slab. So now we have to copy this particular member to the remaining one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten option. So go to transitional repeat in Y direction, which is consisting of ten members here. Each will be consisting of three meter. Click on OK option. so that it will copy this respective property for the remaining 10 slabs now we have to see this model in 3d rendering view click on 3d rendering view option here like this so now we can see this is the 3d rendering view for the particular structure so after modeling process is done we need to apply the uh, dimensions of the beams and columns click on general option for that click on define option for that just i am selecting the rectangular property which is comes under just i am taking here as 0.5 cross 0.5 as the square column so click on add option again in the same process just i am adding the beam size which is consisting of 0.5 cross 0.23 so again in the same process i am selecting the plate thickness which is comes under 150 mm for the all the slabs go to select the column option go to click on select option beams parallel to y direction condition click on assign to selected beams assign yes option in the same process just i am selecting the 
beam go to select option beams parallel to x condition system in the same process i am selecting the beams parallel to z condition click on assign to selected beams assign option in the same process we have to select the plate thickness by using assign to view assign option yes option so after applying this uh, property of the building we need to see the model in rendering view so click on the 3d rendering view option this is a complete model of 3d rendering view for the building structure so now we have to apply the support conditions go to click on supports click on create option add your fixed support select your support to with the help of the front view option we need to assign the all the node points at the base click on assign to view yes option okay so now we have to define the load cases initially which is comes under the dead loading condition live loading condition as well as the seismic loading condition uh, and response spectrum load and uh, wind load condition system so before that firstly we had to uh, define the load cases which is comes under wind and seismic click on this paste mark so click on the seismic load click on add option so here i am selecting the code will be consisting of is uh, 8 1893 codal provision click on generate option so firstly we have to select the city or zone so as per my consideration just i am taking my zone which is comes under high seismic zone of zone 5 seismic condition which is comes under special rc movement resisting frames for all general building click on the medium soil option so here i am selecting soil type will be of medium as per my consideration so click on the selection of your respected medium soil click on generate option so firstly we have to enter the uh, value of the damping which is of 5 percentage which is approximately equal to 0 0.05 click on add option firstly we have to add the self weight condition system click on add select the member weight so here we have to add the uniformly distributed load which is related to the sum of the all wall loading condition system so as per the considerations of the building we will consider the external wall will be consisting of 0.23 thickness if you multiply this particular value with 3 multiplied by unit weight of the brick work so that it can get the values 13.8 in the same process if you calculate the internal wall thickness which is comes under the 0.125 multiplied by your respected value of 3 multiplied by your respected value of 20 so that it can get the values 7.5 again we have to calculate the parapet wall load which is consisting of 0.125 multiplied by 1.2 meter height multiplied by 20 so that it can get the value is 3 so 3 plus 7.5 plus approximately 13.8 which is comes under the value is 24.3 value so here we have to enter the value of sum of the all the wall loading condition system which is related to the 24.3 kilo newton per meter for the respected uh, member load condition system click on add option close option now we have to select this member load condition system we need to assign for the beam section for that go to click on the select option beams parallel to x direction condition again in the same process we have to select the beams parallel to z direction condition click on assign to selected beams option assign option yes option now we have to define the wind load click on the wind definition option click on add option so firstly we have to add the wind one type one so here we have to calculate the intensity of the particular wind load condition system intensity for the respected height so in my previous videos i was explained how to calculate the wind loading condition system according to the is 875 part 3 codal provision standard so i will provide you that respected video link in above court link you can watch that particular video by using above link okay so here i am assuming the value particular value as per my consideration that i am selecting 0 uh, 1.8 which is acting at a distance of 36 meter so this is the rough value just i am assuming here as per my consideration just i am selecting here so which is consisting of 1.2 meter again which is acting at a distance of 18 let us consider one just i am taking at a distance of 9 again in the same process 0 0.5 which is acting at a distance of 6 click on add option in the same process we have to add the exposure factor as one click on add close select the exposure factor one by using assign to view option assign option yes option so after applying the exposure factor condition we need to apply the load cases for the building go to click on the load case details option for that click on add option so firstly we have to select the seismic loading condition system which is related to the earthquake load in x direction condition system click on add in the same process we have to add the earthquake load in z direction condition so after adding this particular earthquake load in x direction z direction we can add the seismic loading condition which is related to the response spectrum analysis condition system sequence okay so click on add option in the same process we have to add the wind loading condition system just i am selecting the wind option here just i am selecting double x option here as the notation wind z option so again we have to select the dead loading condition system which is comes under the dead condition system only again in the same process we have to select the live loading condition system take this value is ll option add option so initially we need to select the earthquake loading condition system x direction click on add button 
so initially we need to select the self weight conditions uh, sorry uh, seismic loading condition system which is acting in x direction with a factor as 1 click on add option here okay so initially it will ask you to save the model click on add option so initially we need to check that whether it is added here like this or not so again in the same process we have to select this uh, earthquake load in z direction click on add select this seismic loading condition system with z direction value click on add option okay so after that we have to select the response spectrum analysis case okay so for that just i'm selecting rsa option here so initially we need to add the response spectrum value for the respected direction of the self weight in all x y z select the x direction with minus one value click on add option again i'm selecting z, z y direction condition click on add option again i'm selecting z direction condition click on add option so after adding this particular value we need to add the member load which is comes under the summation of the all the wall load condition system for the x z x z y z z so which is comes under the value is minus 24.3 intensity which is related to the z x value click on add option again select the z y value click on add option again select the g z value click on add option so after that we have to add the response spectrum load case so in this particular rsa itself okay this time selecting response spectrum here Firstly, we have to select the codal provision. So here we are assuming that we have to design the structure as per the IS codal provision itself. Next, I am selecting here as IS 1893 codal provision. So again, in the response spectrum analysis, it will be consisting of the types here like this, which is related to the uh, S, R, S, S, A, A, B, S, C, Q, C. Okay. So basically, we will consider two types of the specifications. Okay. So one is related to the square root of the uh, sum of the squares, which is of S, R, S, S. Again, C, Q, C. C, Q, C is nothing but combined quadratic combination okay so here i am selecting square root of sum of squares itself so here we have to select the acceleration in x direction with the factor as one again select the acceleration in z direction with factor one okay so now we have to select the subsoil condition basically it will be consisting of the three types of the category so from this category just i am selecting the medium soil condition why because we are already defined that particular medium soil condition in the starting stage itself okay so click on the add option so that it will add the a response spectrum analysis case for the respected consideration select the self weight click on assign to view option assign option yes option in the same process we have to select the self weight in y direction assign to view assign yes option select the z direction condition assign to view assign yes option select this uh, uniform load which is related to the beam load condition system go to select beams parallel to uh, x direction condition in the same process just i am selecting beams parallel to z direction condition let us consider here click on assign to selected beams assign yes option again in the same process we have to select this particular gy value click on assign to selected beams assign yes option so in the same process we have to select the zz value which is also comes under assign to selected beams option assign option yes option so now we have to define the wind load condition just i am selecting wind x click on add option select the wind load condition which is in x direction with factor one again i am selecting the factor is minus one condition system click on add so now we have to select the wind z condition system click on add so here i am selecting the wind load condition system with z factor click on add option okay so again in the same process just i am adding the factor is minus one condition system in opposite direction so now we have to add the dead loading condition system for the building structure so here i am selecting the dead load value for this particular structure so click on the select the dead load click on add option so firstly i will add the self weight condition system for the particular structure so after that we have to add the member load which is comes under the all the combinations of the beam load condition system which is of minus 24.3 so again in the same process we have to add the floor load which is comes under the minus 2 intensity which is acting at a distance of 3 and 36 value sorry 6 and 36 value why because in 6 meter it will be consisting of the first slab for the building structure click on add option so after that we have to add the lie loading condition which is comes under this category so further just i am selecting the lie load condition system go to select the uh, floor load condition system for this consideration which is comes under minus 3.5 which is acting at a distance of 6 and 36 meter value for the building structure click on add option so click on close option select the self weight condition system with the minus one factor value by using assign to v option assign option yes option again i am selecting uniform load which is comes under the beam dead load go to select beams parallel to x condition again i am selecting go to select beams parallel to z condition click on assign to selected beams option assign option again click on the yes option condition system so after that we have to select the load combination system for the building structure so go to select the loads and definitions option details option so click on the add option select the auto load combination according to the indian standard codal provision system click on generate option click on add option 
so that it will generate the load combination for the building consideration now we have to analyze the structure go to analysis and print add your no print option close option go to analyze option click on run analysis option save option so that it will do the analysis process for the respected considerations of deep place strain structure with the help of the non linear response spectrum analysis load case here my model is obtained with zero errors go to post to processing mode option click on done option okay apply your load cases click on okay so that it will display the deflection diagram for the different types of the load cases and combinations so here i am selecting response spectrum analysis case due to the presence of the response spectrum analysis case for the mode one the deflection diagram is showing here like this in the same process you can see the deflection diagram for the different types of the mode numbers in the same process you can click on the shear force diagram so now we can see this is the shear force diagram for the particular structure due to the presence of the mode number 5 again in the same process you can click on the bending moment diagram this is the bending moment diagram for the particular structure with the considerations of the response spectrum analysis again click on the animation option select the deflection option select the load case or else you can select any one of the force or else you can click on the section displacement or displacement click on apply so that it will display the displacement diagram for the particular structure under consideration this is the response spectrum analysis case deflection diagram okay so after that we have to uh, see the results which is comes under the response spectrum analysis condition systems okay so for that click on the uh, stat output file option in the stat output file option you can able to see the all the results which is comes under the response spectrum analysis so click on this particular results option so again click on this eisen solutions value so it will be consisting of the frequency for the respected considerations of the different modes here like this again it will be consisting of the uh, response spectrum load case condition system which is related to the lateral loading condition model model weight condition system so this is the peak storage shear value for the particular structure different types of the floors again select the base reactions this is are the base base reaction for the consideration and these are the model participation factors okay so this is the complete process of the non linear response spectrum analysis of g plus 10 building structural model as per is 1893 codal provision by using stat pro v8 software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you